A four-year-old girl missing for more than two weeks in Western Australia's Midwest coast has been found alive and well in a locked house. Cleo Smith disappeared from a campground at the blowholes north of Carnarvon on October the 16th. Police had suspected she was abducted from the family tent. The acting police commissioner, Cole Blanche, says officers found her in a locked house in Carnarvon early this morning. Privileged to announce that in the early hours of this morning, the Western Australian Police Force rescued Cleo Smith. Cleo is alive and well. A police team broke their way into a locked house in Carnarvon at about 1am. They found little Cleo in one of those rooms. One of the officers picked her up into his arms and asked her, what's your name? She said, my name is Cleo. Cleo was re reunited with her parents a short time later. This is the outcome we all hoped and prayed for. It's the outcome we've achieved because of some incredible police work and I want to thank Cleo's parents, the Western Australian community and all of the volunteers. And of course, I want to thank my colleagues in the Western Australian Police Force. I can confirm that we have a man from Carnarvon in custody who is currently being questioned by detectives. We'll have more to say on the rescue of Cleo as the day unfolds. But for now, welcome home, Cleo. It really is remarkable news. The WA Police Commissioner Chris Dawson spoke to ABC local radio in Perth about finding four-year-old Cleo Smith alive. He says a 36-year-old Carnarvon man is in custody and is assisting police. Followed every particular lead that we had. Uh, it was methodical, it was dedicated, uh, it was skilled and it was dogged. But at the same time, um, I'm thankful and I do want to give credit to the parents. You know, we, we never lost hope, but the community, the volunteers, companies, they all came out to help us. Um, and there was some really skilled work in finding her. Um, I can't really release all those details. They will emerge, uh, but it was, a, it was following every particular lead and what a wonderful result. Was there a particular piece of information that led you to that house? Well, look, we uh, we believe uh, look, we're still questioning a fellow, so it's, it's probably difficult for me to really uh, expand on it too much more. But there was some information which we followed up on. Um, we had been following you know, a lot of the forensic leads, um, and it led us to a particular house. I've seen the vision. I can't release it yet. Um, of the police um, going into the house. Uh, I will confirm she was found in the house. The house was locked. We had to break down the door to get in, um, but we've taken uh, a man into custody as well. How is Cleo doing? <clears throat> Look, um, I saw the vision. Um, Cleo is a, a beautiful little four-year-old. Uh, obviously, the parents are just so delighted to, to have her back in their arms. Uh, she's, look, as well as we could you know, expect in the circumstances. So healthy? Yeah, look, I've, uh, I've seen the vision of her. She's, she's alive, well, um, smiling. Um, so look, it, it is a wonderful, wonderful result. And the parents, I, I just can't imagine uh, how, the, how they're feeling this morning. Have you got any insight into the, the parents? Look, Ellie and Jake are you know, clearly emotional, but importantly, they never gave up hope. And uh, look, to be able to reunite uh, them uh, with their daughter is just such a wonderful thing. Uh, they're strong people. They are really strong people. Uh, they have got good support around them and will continue to walk through them. You know, this, this is <laughs> a wonderful result today, but it'll still be a tough journey for them. There is a man in custody this morning, a man from Carnarvon, we read. Can you tell us anything about that man's connection to the family or Cleo? No, I can't. Um, look, um, there's there's no family connection. I'll simply confirm there's a 36-year-old man in custody and uh, I've got to let the evidential side, I can't talk about it. To find a, a, little, a little girl, a vulnerable little girl, uh, after 18 days, um, you know, obviously people think the worst, uh, but importantly... Uh, hope was never lost uh, and the fact she's been found alive, you know, I, I think, you know, Australia's rejoicing, you know, it, it is such a wonderful outcome.